This tree was felled maybe during the California gold rush. Oh wow. And the burls, or the big ugly parts, were just left in the ground. <laughs> and they harvested <clears throat> the uh, usable lumber to build with, the redwoods. Wow. So, so this is redwood burl. It's uh, fairly rare. I've owned this piece for over 20 years down in my shop waiting for something to do with it. This is the last piece I have left. I had three of these, and this is my last one. So this is old growth redwood burl. This is epoxy. Oh, wow. It's been... Uh, How did you treat it? Well, it's, it's been sealed. And then the surface treatment is lemon oil and beeswax. Wow, beautiful. So when you, redwood is very light. Oh, yeah. So you would expect I would have about expected 20 that. pounds. Yeah. That was made last year. This was a void yeah. in the wood. So now that I've learned how to use epoxy, I filled it. The back side has some gold epoxy in it, but I like this side better, so. Fantastic. Tell us about this bowl here. So this is... Um, Unless I didn't mean to cut you off. Is there <clears throat> more about this piece? Tell us more. No, other than the size and you know, what it's treated with. So this is for charcuterie, so you can put food right on that. Fantastic. And if you need to retreat it because the wax will dull over time. And you could buff it up with, you know, if you could bring more shine up if you want to wax it and spend the elbow grease to buff it. So uh, Elbow you, grease perfectly for shoulder and elbow weak. There, there you go. You know, it's a phrase that... This has been associated with a lot of hard work. Um, <laughs> any product, a commercially available product that has beeswax in it, it works fine. Yeah. You know, you can buy it in the jar, smear it on there, rub it off. And the, and the water, let me show you. The water will run right off this. Excuse the dishes. See that? Fantastic. Yeah. How so, do you... Uh, Treat this, how would you wash it? Just like that? Just like that. Yeah, like that. Okay, and good. You're done. Good. All right. Okay. No more no more work than that. And it's really light, so you can put it way up. Yeah, it is nice. And then you can bring it down. As you see, oftentimes it's, these it's cutting really boards are made of hard wood and they can be pretty heavy, but this yeah, is uh, I display a lot of but still very durable, light but durable. Oh, it's it's very, very and it's a conversation starter. Yeah, that's fantastic. Now this ball is um, Douglas fir and cherry. This Douglas fir is left over from my house here. Yeah. This was a floor joist. Oh, wow. <laughs> there you go. And then this is a cherry. I don't know where the cherry came from, sorry. And um, these are what we call tumbling blocks. You know, the 3D effect on them. So geometric. We like yeah. geometric shapes yeah. in orthopedics. Those are 60 degree angles, 60 and 120 degree angles. And it's very light too. Beautiful. And this is treated with lacquer. And it's got a little epoxy signature uh, spot on the bottom. So treat this the same way. If lacquer is almost indestructible, the only thing that dissolves it is acetone. And then the water beads right off. All you do is that. So it's like a salad bowl, like a nice serving bowl. You can use it for salad, you can use it for food. All these surfaces are food safe. The only thing I would caution against is if you're going to use it for liquids. It's going to dull the finish eventually. Gotcha. And I would wax over the lacquer. Okay. That's what I do normally. Is How often would you do that? Whenever you want. I normally put a beeswax finish on top of the lacquer. That's why the water beads up so nice. Yeah. But, you know, most people will not put salad in these. They'll put dry things like popcorn or fruits, maybe? chips. Oh yeah. For fruits, I usually make a perforated bowl you know, oh, for right, air right, circulation. Right. Right. But you could put fruit in that. Huh, that's a good idea. Maybe that's why all my fruit is uh, ripening too quickly because <laughs> yeah. I have it in yeah. a non-perforated there, bowl. There's an example of there the, you go. Yeah. right there. Crisp oh, okay. Here we go. Ah, see. So that's called. I need a perforated bowl. Oh, I don't, that's called open segment. That's why my bananas get too ripe too quickly. Well, we leave our bananas on a hook. I know. You need the hook. So that's this construction is called segmented. So these are rings made out of a number of separate pieces. Yeah. And then glued and stacked up and turned. And how long would you estimate it takes to make a bowl like this? These are never made in one session. So, yeah. you know, you spend about a week putting one of these together. That's a lot of work. This bottom piece um, is the most annoying, but whatever. I don't do this very often because it's a pain in the ass. 
So once you put it together, then you turn it on the right. wave, right? Then it's turned on the wave, right? It's fantastic. Mm -hmm. Always a turn on. And this is uh, 10 inches in diameter. This is 13 and 3 eighths. There's a perforated bowl. This that one's one, not going to be in the auction. That one used to be on display at the Birchfield Penny in their art collection. Oh, fantastic. In that window by the... So Dr. Santilli's woodworker, surgeon, yeah. and, and artist. <laughs> well, I put one of my... This is my wife's business. <laughs> not mine. <laughs> I put that... I put the cards on there so people can identify this thing. No, he's not going to do the business stuff. No, he's not going to pay the taxes. He's, he's, right. <laughs> Yeah, we collect sales tax, believe it or not. Yeah, fantastic. Well, thank you. Thank you for showing us.